Slab. Hey there! Welcome back to the lab! Today I want to tell you about a special type of force. It's an invisible force that acts on everything around us, including you. In each of these actions, something strange, I guess, happens they're pulled down towards the surface of the Earth. It's easy to see this for yourself. Take an object around you, like this ball for example, and throw it up into the air. Wow! A push force sends the ball up into the air, but another force pulls it back down towards the table. Do you know what causes this? The answer is gravitational force, or gravity. Or more specifically, the gravitational force of the Earth. Gravity is a force that exists between all objects that have mass. Unlike magnetic force that attracts or repels magnetic objects, gravity attracts all objects. The massive Earth pulls on the ball, and the ball pulls on the Earth. But the pull of the ball is so small that we only observe the pull of the Earth, like this. So who discovered gravity? To answer this, we have to go back to the 1600s, when English physicist and mathematician Isaac Newton was alive. One day, Isaac was sitting in his garden underneath an apple tree when an apple fell down and struck him on the head. Newton was intrigued by this and began to think about what it means. He then realised that the gravity that pulls things towards the Earth was the same force that kept all of the planets in our solar system in orbit. He called this force gravity. Just as the sun's gravity attracts the planets around it, Earth's gravity attracts everything on planet Earth and even the moon. This gravity stops things like us from floating into space. I like telling jokes about gravity. Everyone falls for them each time. Thanks for learning and we'll see you again soon in the Lighthouse Lab.